Hey what's up guys you are watching for tech first of all sorry galaxy tab is just my device screen broken and i can't able to serve the videos for you from the long time but today is awesome news i have successfully installed the lineage os 18.1 android 11 gsi rom on this device it has some bugs but they are deal breaking you can use it as a daily driver actually i am bored of samsung slow and the cartoonish one ui 3.1 if you are one of me who thinks it's true and want some adventure please watch the video I have shown how to install this ROM and how to overcome some small bugs with the basic review of this awesome ROM. So without wasting your time, let's start the adventure. On the new adventure. For installation of ROM, you need a TWL of install on your tablet. If you didn't, then watch the video given in a right side card. Now download the full ROM, GFs, and the magic file from the link given in a video description. The GSF file is in EXE format, so I downloaded it on my Note 2 and used the EXE file extractor application available on the Play Store. I have given the link of that app in a video description, but you can directly extract the file on PC also. After the extraction, transfer all the files in your tablet and boot your tablet in a TWRP mode. When you boot in a TWRP, first click the wipe, go to the advanced wipe, then select the system and slide the bottom bar. After that, go back where you place the GSI image file. Now click the install image at the bottom. Now you will see your image file, select it. Now select the system image partition and slide the bottom bar. After successful installation, now we have to install the GApps, but our system partition has very low space. So to clear it, go to the wipe. Select the advanced wipe, select the system, click resize system partition and slide the bottom bar. If you seems any error, first mount your system partition under the mount option and repeat the step. Now go back, click install and select your GApps, install them. Now go back, install the magic zip because we need to read our device to solve the device certification error after the first boot. After these all to do's, now click wipe, select the format data, type S, enter. After the format data, click reboot system. Click power button to skip the bootloader warning so the new lineage OS logo boots up finally after the 2 minutes. Complete all the setup. Now after the boot, we will see the device certification error. So to solve this issue, go to the Magix application, download and install the Magix site prop configuration module and reboot the device. There is also one another method but that not work for me. I have given that under the video description. You can follow that also if you still face the issues. After the first reboot, we go to the settings, about phone, now you are upgraded to Lineage OS 18.1. We got the new Lineage OS and Android 11 easter egg, security patch updated to latest 1st October 2021 and the new kernel 4.4. So the first thing we notice after the update that our device is super smooth now than before. There is no comparison between that sluggish phone you have of the Samsung with the Lineage OS. So your device is flying now. Let's check what's working and what's not. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are working perfectly. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth detecting the new networks and connecting seamlessly. Only issue is the whole tip for the Geo is not working. If you go to the settings, we get the new PH treble settings option. This is the advanced setting option, which brings the Samsung stock one of your features implementation like the extended brightness, double tap to wake, touch sensitive glow mode, and the many more. Another is those settings having the handwave features and the pocket mode. We get the miscellaneous setting and the IMS features. To enable the OLT under the IMS checkmark third and the fourth option, click the create IMS APN. Now click install IMS APK but unfortunately nothing work for me so I can't able to make the calls on the Geo SIM. So I downloaded the Geo call APK. It's the only solution now for the Indian users. But other sims with the normal calling is working good and the LTE network and the data speed is also very good. Last one is the customization features as the lineage OS is the pure vanilla ROM. We didn't get the merge features but still we get the system via tuner, ascent color, icon shape, icon pack and the font settings which are pretty good. Bunch of the ascent colors are available also teardrop icon shapes looking awesome. Let's comment which is your favorite custom feature that you like most. Some other customizations found under the display. Here we get the dark mode which has the new time fade reading option with the pure black and the greenish dark mode. Nightlight is also working good and it has the intensity customization option. 
under the style and wall sap we get the wallpaper icon style grid and the lock screen clock customizations these are some beautiful lock screen clock styles under the system advanced we get the status bar and the gestures here we can enable the full screen gestures for the navigation which are super smooth now you can glide your fingers to switch between the apps. Now we get the new power menu in advanced reboot option. Lineage OS comes with the audio effects tuner but using the root you can install our new DTX Ultra mod. You can check that video in a right side card. Stock camera app is working good taking pics and the videos but it's not recording the sound in a video. So to solve this issue use the open camera app from the play store. Go to the app setting then click the video setting. Enable the record audio and click audio source and select the default audio source. Now you can record the audio in a video also. This treble ROM has very negligible issues. Sound is also working in the videos and audio. You can check the sample here. Thank you are watching for tech. So I got the new incremental update for my Nord 2 Oxygen OS V11. But as I am rooted anti WRP installed, I can't able to flash this update. Some users one bug is there mtp transfer not working when the phone is connected to the computer but you can transfer the files when you are in a twrp mode so it's not a big deal soon i will try to fix the whole lt issue except that no major bugs so i think it's a dream come true for me to use the custom rom for this device so that's it for today guys if you think i help you please do like and share this video subscribe our channel Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. I also try to use the dot OS soon. Video will come. So take care friends. Bye bye. On the new adventure.